Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town of Four Let's Play where, you know, we still got the wall breaker upgrade going in that laboratory, but at least we have all three builders back and ready to roll. Both of the army camps are now maxed out, so I have a max um, army, which I should probably cook up the rest of. I'm going to bring extra archers this time. Remember last time I upgraded an army camp, I brought an extra giant. Now I'm bringing extra archers archers so today's big focus will be barracks actually um because once again it's going to be like an overnight type of thing these are eight hour upgrades so i may end up upgrading all three um i'm not entirely sure we may make some decisions a little bit differently moving forward also the air defense is now done and i can upgrade it again so that'd be kind of awesome to do uh it's not really a, an issue of loot as i've i continue to say here in this series it is an issue of time so i'm not really all that worried about having max gold in my storages because look at how much elixir I've, I've got in my treasury we're overflowing with loot guys it is beautiful all right so let's go do a couple of raids though enjoying the fact that i've got extra troops and uh i want to attack any base that's got a decent amount of elixir and then has no wall, uh, wizard tower, which again was the thing that we talked about last time. So let's see what we can accomplish here, guys. Uh, you know, it'd be really cool to find another one of those 100,000 elixir arm or bases just because, just for fun. You know, again, I don't need it. It's just for fun. Or, ooh, ah, wizard tower. Never mind. I was going to say that. That looks like a pretty good base. Looks like a dead base, which I guess at this level, dead doesn't mean anything because it's the defenses that you get uh, at Town Hall 9, the that expo, that... You start to realize that bases are dead because the expo runs out of ammunition. But before Tunnel 9, you really can't tell. It doesn't really matter. All right. 33,000. The walls are really bad. <laughs> I'd say let's go, though. Let's do this. All right. So archers. I've got extra archers now, so I don't feel quite as bad about using them in corner buildings. And let's see. No CC troops. That is perfect. Giants, get in there. Barbarians, start the funnel. And wall breakers break through them walls, guys. You, you, you do what you do best. I've also got a CC, so, you know, backup plan in case I don't pull off that triple. Um, power potion effect still working, so that means that my giants have a little bit of extra hit points, which is always a, uh, a good thing. They haven't been upgraded yet, so they're acting like they're level 2, but I've actually only got level 1 er, uh, giants. Uh, pretty much all of my barbarians are dead now, which is really upsetting. It looks like we're probably not even going to get that town hall. I've got the uh, balloons in the CC, so why don't we just go ahead and use them, get that three star today. So, uh, it's actually, well, I uh, probably shouldn't have done that actually, because 12, uh, tr 12 trophies it really isn't that, that good. But I am going to get some free gems for getting to this point, so that's always a good thing. And there we go. Also, um, you know, I, I guess I did it for the elixir too, which again, I already said really, it's like peas, right? It's peas and carrots. Not that I need those, but it's good for you. It's healthy. It's good to eat healthy. It's good to eat fiber, right? Good for your colon. Why am I talking about that? Anyway, so <laughs> there we go, guys. 33,000 plus the loot bonus set is 34,000 elixir. Not too shabby. I'm gonna go and request for some more CC. And there we go. The next army is now ready to roll. So should we go ahead and just jump in there and do it? I guess. Let's go. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? Back up, back up. I want to look at something. Ooh, don't back up. Oh, my goodness. Um, Wow. All right. Here, here's, here's an opportunity. Check this out. All these defenses are on the outside. I'm curious... If I'd be able to get most of these, I'm, I'm actually worried that there'd be a CC. Here, let me let me see if there's a CC. Barbarians, ah, oh, there's a CC. Look at those look at those wizards. Bummer. Okay, here, barbarians and archers. Handle that. These cannons have so many hit points, man. Jeez. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get anything done. I just oh, that's so bad. All right, um. Dang it. Yeah, it's over. I'm not going to be able to get much of this at all. Here, let's get the three giants over here. I'm going to at least try to get the, the storages, okay? But, dude, that is brutal. Here, let me get the barbarians and maybe we can get in there and get those wizards down. Wall breakers down, too. Man. CC wizards. Who would have thunk it? I've, I've actually never thought to put wizards in there, but they do a lot of damage. So I guess it makes perfect sense. Um, but yeah, the mortar is going to do a ton of damage as well. I just need some troops to to funnel up toward the elixir storages. I just want to grab a few thousand elixir. I don't care if I 50% it. I would like to 50% it. I don't care if I do. Um, if I can get to 50% and get some elixir out of the storages, then I am happy. 
Wizards in the CC, I might try that because they are deadly. They're very deadly. Or, you know, if I had maybe like, I don't know, 20, 25 troop capacity in the CC, then uh, that'd be awesome because then I could do something like, you know, like an ice golem. Those things are so good. And then um, maybe a couple of wizards behind the ice golem, you know, that would be pretty sweet. Okay, so we're at 35% and all of my army has already died out. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do what I wanted to do with that 50%. But hey, I, I maxed out my elixir. And that's kind of the whole point of why I did what I did. So that worked out okay. It worked out okay. Uh, these archers are definitely going to die out now. I've got an archer tower and a cannon working on them. And probably the mortar. Is the mortar going to fire again? The mortar's been really brutal lately, so just kind of watching for it. Yeah, it's over. Dang, man. Wow. Well, 77,000 elixir. Can't argue with that much. You can argue with it, but you just don't want to, you know? All right, so I did get a, uh, an achievement. So I did collect a, or steal. I stole a million elixir. Can you believe that? Already a million elixir from multiplayer. That's 10 free gems. I'll take that. And I'm almost there with gold as well. I'm actually at 941,000 gold. So we're working our way up. Also, I haven't given you guys a tour of what's going on in Builder Base in a while. I've got, I've got a collector over here. People will forget about it and they'll time fail because of that. So that's pretty sweet. But I'm nearly done. I've actually went to Builder Hall 3. You don't have to max everything whenever you play Builder Hall, so I just went up. And I've been upgrading the troops, so there is an upgrade for the Sneaky Archer going to max. And can I upgrade anything? Maybe I can upgrade the... Ooh, a new storage. That's always a good thing. Let's go ahead and get that. Actually, wait, army camp. Can I get the army camp? Dude, that'd be awesome if I could get the army camp. Why can't I see it? Okay, my my brain my brain's not seeing things. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's because I can't afford it. 180,000? Holy cow. That's a lot, man. Okay, uh, what if I did... Yeah, I can't afford anything. Man, that's crazy. Here, let's get this new cannon. I need to get some new walls, too. So here's a problem. I want to progress and grab trophies and, and builder base, but I also don't want to. Like, I don't want to do the work that is required. Let's just go do an attack. I'm pretty confident I won't win the raid. Uh, but we'll just have to, we'll just have to see how it goes. So I've got, um, here, let's do something like this. And then my archers will work on the, well, you were supposed to work on the double cannon, but you guys decided to go for the star factory or star laboratory instead. I think I'll still three star. Yeah, there we go. I'll three star. It's just a question of whether or not I'll be able to do it quickly. So this is kind of the way I've been burning time. Uh, you know, off camera, kind of doing whatever, because I eventually want to get that sixth builder. That's the whole point. So there you go. Got myself a three star. And this poor guy's attacking. I did that with two minutes and 42 seconds left. I literally three starred in 18 seconds. So yeah, this guy legit just failed. Uh, I'm going to win, but I don't want to wait on it. So that's a problem. And you know, how much loot am I going to get, actually? 15,000 apiece? That'll, that'll work. That'll work. Probably should get some more walls, right? That's <laughs> it's the biggest weakness that my base definitely has at this point. So let's go ahead and grab that. And can we do... Can we do another one? There's that. Uh, burning all of my golds. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need to... I need to invest some loot in taking out some obstacles and stuff too. But just showing you guys, occasionally I want to update you on how Builder Base is going. All right. So back to the main village. I've used both my attacks already. And we are looking... Uh, we're looking pretty sad. That last attack was bad. But it got, I got Max Elixir now. So let's spend it all. Now, um, it's, it's an overnight situation. So I don't necessarily need to play for the next eight hours. So I think it's the perfect opportunity to, to upgrade all three of my barracks at the same time. It won't matter. I mean, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to wake up. They're going to be done. I don't lose any time. I don't lose any anything. So let's go and do this, guys. 80,000 Elixir. Eight-hour upgrade. Three, two, one. Bam. It's going to unlock balloons. That's that first one. The second one. And let me collect my treasury just to get me in the right place. Let's upgrade the second one. This is going to reduce the training time of the balloons by half. So 80,000 Elixir again. Three, two, one. Bam. And then before I upgrade the third thing, let's just look through the list just to make sure. Okay, so I get elixir collectors and gold mines, gold storages, whatever, barracks. Everything else is gold-based. So I like to do the elixir-based stuff first. So let's go ahead and get it done. Literally on purpose, upgrading all of my barracks. I'm, I'm legit not going to be able to attack for eight hours. I'm okay with it. I've already explained why. Two or three times. Let's do this, guys, in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. So if I actually come in here and if I try to train something, I literally can't because 
I have I have no barracks. So available when construction is finished. Majority of people won't want to do that, by the way, because they may want to just kind of play around. But again, I think that's one of the main purposes of Builder Base, and that's why I wanted to go into it, because I'm I knew what I was gonna do. I knew I was gonna landlock myself and not allow myself to be able to play the game, right? So that's but it worked out. It worked out well. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to get a few more walls while I'm here. How many more walls can I get? Six more? Six more groups? I think they're five apiece. Yeah, so why don't we just grab all these? I'm going to build my uh, my base up a little bit better eventually. Here, let's just, just get the last... Finish off the walls. There you go. Uh, get rid of this tree. Looking good. Uh, can I rotate? Yeah, just move this down. Very good. Let's go do another raid for fun. All right, so yeah, so uh, again, um, I'm sticking with mostly a barbarian archer combination, but I do want to unlock baby dragons. They're my favorite troop for builder base. I'm a big fan of it. So uh, that that is definitely my goal. So let's do one, two, three. Wow, okay, one, two, three. <laughs> oh man, that's that stupid push trap really ruined me there. Um, all right, so the archer should, okay, let's get the archers on the archer tower here. Archer Tower goes down. There we go. So we should now at this point three star once again. I forgot about the corner building, so they just did to me what I do to them. Oh, that's messed up, y'all. That is messed up, but it worked out, I guess, for me. Um, yeah, so my goal will be to unlock baby dragons as soon as possible. I am a baby dragon spammer pro for sure. So that'll be my, my number one goal once we actually get to that point. And my goal is always to max out offense and then move on to the next builder hall. I'm not really interested in... I don't have to max all the defenses. Builder Hall is totally different than the main village. So there we go. Extra 20,000. I like that. I've already gotten my walls. So what else can I upgrade here? Gold mine. Builder barracks. If I upgrade that, it unlocks the Boxer Giants. That's not that big of a deal. Star Laboratory. Forgot that I could upgrade that. Wow. Okay. Definitely want to do that. And then the storages. And the lots of gold upgrades too. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, let's just do the Builder barracks. And I also need to rearrange my base but I'll do that off camera because I'm slow at that especially in especially in builder base so, <laughs> so um anyway guys that's gonna do it for me today in this episode of our town of four let's play as we can continue to progress getting the barracks going and finished is a great thing we're gonna get some gems actually for unlocking the balloons I think let me see here um oh no I get no gems for balloons I will though get gems for unlocking dragons interestingly enough and we don't do that for a while i'm unlocking balloons and then i will be unlocking wizards i think that's a tunnel five and then tunnel six is healers and then tunnel seven is actually dragon so we have a little ways before we actually get that achievement but that's okay we're working on gems we're getting it done and it is working out for us for now though guys that's gonna be it for me today thank you all so much for tuning in like this video if you liked it. and if you're enjoying our tunnel four let's play uh next time also we'll have a laboratory to work on so that's always a fun thing um, don't forget to ring that bell for notifications, by the way, if you haven't already. We, you want to know when videos go live, don't you? Well, you got to ring that bell. And then lastly, don't forget to use creator code to support your favorite content creator with your in-game purchases. If you choose to support me, I'd greatly appreciate it. You could use code Klaus. There's a link in the description to put that code automatically. Or you go into your shop, make sure that it is active, but it does because it does expire every seven days. So if it's active, you're good. Go ahead and make your purchase. If it is not active because that C is not there, then use the link in the description or input that code automatically just remember code klaus or also don't forget to use it in every supercell game remember guys that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time